stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you for your presence that is here with us this afternoon and ministering to us. And God, just like what song, Lord God, that says, because of your love, God, then our debt is paid. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you, God, for the salvation that we have received from our Lord Jesus Christ. The death, the pay, the, the, the debt of sin, which is debt, is paid for. And today, God, we stand before you today, holy, not because of what we've done, but because of what you did for us on the cross. And God, because of that, we will continue to praise you, to worship you, and to honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to read the scripture. Please open your Bibles in Isaiah chapter 49, verses um, 8 to 16. The word of the Lord says, Thus says the Lord, In the time of favor, I have answered you. In the day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritage, saying to the prisoners, Come out, to those who are in darkness, appear. They shall feed along the ways, on all bare heights shall be their pastures. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will make all my mountains a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Behold, these shall come from afar, and behold, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted His people and will have, will have compassion on His afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child? that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb. Even this may forget, yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands, and your walls are continually before me. Lord, we lift up your word today, Lord, in our midst. Thank you, God, that to your word, we will receive not just comfort, not just courage, not just instruction, but God, we will find hope more than anything else. And so God, may we feel your nearness throughout this time and the rest of our days. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people say, Amen. 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 God, praise God together. All right, go ahead and take your seats. Good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to all of us who are here on site. And of course, definitely those of you who are staying in their homes and worshiping with us. We are continuing this series on nearness. Now, this series has been going on for the last... Nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> four weeks. Yeah, four weeks. Although we, we tackled the book of Isaiah since uh, early this year, all the way to now we are in uh, Isaiah 49. And if you've been uh, following us or somehow uh, joined us from the very first time, um, then I um, would like that to ask you, no, sana on your personal time, no, pagka uwi nyo, uh, bago kayo mag-binge ng mga, ano bang top, top ngayon sa Netflix, parang last ko na-check, parang hometown cha-cha, okay? Bago kayo mag-binge, okay? pwede nyo ring i-binge yung mga sermons natin, okay? Para makakatch up kayo, those of you who are uh, just coming in for the very first time or, or those of you who are, who have you uh, probably missed some of the messages 
the past week, baka na busy lang, no? Okay lang naman. <laughs> but you can catch up, no? Just uh, browse through the Facebook or on our YouTube channel. And so, para lang makasunod kayo, no? Although, kung di nyo man na, kung if this is your first time to be here, okay lang naman, uh, we'll, we'll be able to, you know, of course, learn together today's uh, message. In Isaiah chapter 49, like, like in the past uh, four weeks, they are now approaching what you call a um, post-exilic era or malapit na silang matapos dun sa kanilang captivity in Babylon and God is already speaking, uh, 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 describing what He will do in the nation of Israel, His people, but also, I believe, will also speak to us until today. Kasi yun, yung salita ng Panginoon, because God is from, He knows, di ba? He's from the first and the last. He knows beginning to the end. Definitely, panagsalita ang Panginoon, hindi lang doon sa people niya, but even for us today, we will be able to relate. In fact, you will see later on this particular message, the way they responded, the way um, Israel has responded to God in His Word and His assurances, pretty much ganun din yung pa- paano tayo mamuhay, paano tayo mag-respond sa Panginoon. No? So bago natin sila i-judge, wag, ingat lang muna, oh, yun, no? talaga yung mga Israelites na yan, di ba? Maka- makasalanan talaga, wag muna natin, hold lang muna natin yung ano natin, no? yung mga thoughts natin. Because you will see that we ourselves are like, we will see ourselves on their shoes. Or maybe their shoes are too big. Okay, pero we'll see ourselves on their, on the, you know, on their, where they are at, makakarelate tayo, especially on how they respond to God. And when God said here, in verse 8, sabi niya, thus says the Lord, pag nagsasalita ang Panginoon, kagaya yung sinabi ko, it transcends timelines because He is from the beginning to the end. So in their time, pero ito yun ah, pag nagsalita ang Panginoon, ito yung dilemma natin in such a, a quite a, a challenging book like Isaiah. And maraming beses na namin to sinabi sa inyo. Minsan pag binabasa mo yung Isaiah, tayo ang challenge natin, New Testament people, we read the scripture, whatever the Lord says, on our lenses today, yung context natin today. Minsan hindi natin masyadong ma-appreciate, hindi natin masyadong naiintindihan, ano yung nangyayari in their time. However, yung, taga, yung mga nasa Israel naman, noong time nila, hindi naman nila makita kung ano yung i-accomplish ni Lord in the future. And that is why when God said, thus says the Lord, it take, we, we need to take pain and somehow tune in not only to receive comfort, encouragement, but also to uh, re- re- hear some instructions kasi medyo mahirap talaga siya pakinggan. No? Alam ko pagka nandito na kayo sa hapon, ako, siesta time na. No? Yung MSG, lahat tayo tinatamaan, no? And so, ang hirap minsan mag, mag Pero pag nagsasalita ang Panginoon, we have to discipline ourselves not to interpret it on our lens, on our own time, on our own vantage point, lest we miss out what God is saying to them and eventually miss out the whole point of why the Lord speaks the way He speaks in His people at that time. Now, one example of that is when the Lord says this, sabi niya, in the time of favor, madalas, Pagka tayo, pag naririnig na in the time of favor, eto na, may favor na si Lord. Madalas, ang iniisip natin, kaninong timeline? Kaninong timetable? Yung sa atin, di ba? Sino sa inyo, nag-pray, na ta- nag-pray kayo. Many times, nag-pray kayo, Lord, kailangan ko ng patience now na. We, sometimes, whenever we ask and we, we go to God and we, we draw near to Him, we always ask and demand from our own timeline. Timetable natin yung gusto nating masunod. Now, sino ba sa tingin nyo, importante naman yung, may alam ko naman, alam naman ni Lord, di ba? Alam naman ni Lord na kailangan mo whatever you need at that time. Pero, we cannot just look into the text, okay, eto na, in the time of favor, God, yay, excited na ako. May favor na si Lord. Wait lang. Importante nating maintindihan kasi si Lord yung nagsasalita, kaninong timeline? Because this is, thus says the Lord, it is important for us to understand that the, the timetable that matters is not really our own timetable, but God's timetable. Okay? Kasi minsan pag nagiginyan ka, nas, nas, nadidis, sino sa inyo, nadidisappoint kayo minsan kay God. Kaya marami sa atin, ayoko na lang magpray pastor. Bakit? Kasi nadidisappoint lang ako kay Lord. Kawaw, eh, yung hiyan naman ako sa ating lahat, no? Tayo, sa atin na, tayo 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 na disappoint no i think we should also think about kaya, si god si god kaya how many times na disapp na disappoint natin si lord no whenever not only whenever we go to him and when he speaks 
Sino sa atin, you, believe, you would agree with me that many times, the Lord, we dis, you know, nadidisappoint din natin si God. No, alam, agad, Lord, ayoko na minsan mag-pray kasi parang pag time of favor, parang wala naman ng eh. Wala naman nangyayari. Sabi mo lang, Lord, nung 2020, hanggang 2020 lang tong pandemic, 2021, matatapos na yung 2020, ah, and jam pa rin, nakamask pa rin kami. Di ba? Yung iba, pessimistic na. Minsan feeling nila parang di pa yaman natapos. Naku, parang last year lang yan. Binuksan yung city ng ano, November, December. October, November, December, January, tapos nung February, March, sinara na ulit, di ba? ECQ na ulit. Isa, iba, ganyan, pag nakakausap ko, ay, nako, ito lang yan, Pasko, uh, next year, sasara na naman yan. Okay, relax lang. Hindi timetable natin importante, timetable ni Lord, okay? And so when God said, in the time of favor, ito ah, let's not forget that there is a context when God speaks into the, the people of Israel. When God said that and describes the kind of liberation and what He will do, because the past weeks, we are hearing encouragement and comforting words from God's Word. Pero ngayon, describe na ni Lord, ano yung gagawin niya? That when God says, um, you know, favor, what they see really is what? Desolate places. Nasa Babylon pa rin sila. Asan yung favor, Lord? Bakit parang wala naman nangyayari? sa sitwasyon namin. That when God speaks of freedom, they are still in captivity. That when God speaks of emancipation and liberation, pero Lord, nandito pa rin kami. Ang dami agad uh, battle sa mind. Nung mga taan, yung mamaya makikita nyo from the text, na hindi ko lang yun, it's not just me and my biases in the scripture. They themselves acknowledge that. So sabi niya, in the time of favor, I have answered you. God is reminding them that at one point in their lives, they called out and they cried out to God in the time of Exodus, and the Lord has answered them and the Lord has delivered them. Kaya na niya, in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Hindi lang ako nakinig sa inyo kasi pwede naman nag-answer si Lord. Pero yung answer dyan is an answer with what? Support. That may gagawin si God. Ni-remind sila, pansinin nyo, past tense. Anyari, ayan, sabi niya dyan, Past tense. Answered and what? The day was answered. Ayan, buksan nyo yung Bible nyo. And of time of favor, I answered you. Past tense. They were being reminded. It was, it was a history lesson for the people of Israel. But definitely, for our time today, how many of us, you know, we were helped greatly, many times, by the Lord. Sige sa inyo, may mga, may mga times na nag-pray ka sa Panginoon, tapos in-answer ni Lord the way exactly we ask, yung the way we plead to God. Tapos in-answer ni Lord. Tapos eh, sobrang elated ka. Sobrang excited ka. Sobrang saya mo nung na-receive mo yung answer prayer. Wala. Wawa ka naman. Then, eh, ako pasto, wala akong answer prayer. Bro, kasi hindi ako nag-pray. Eh, yun na nga yung matindi doon. Minsan, kahit hindi tayo nag-pray, sino sa inyo, sinasagot, binibigyan pa rin tayo ng help ni Lord. Kahit nakakalimutan natin, minsan tumawag sa Kanya, the Lord still answers us and helps us. And so, it was a history lesson for them. And so now, for us, I hope that we will remember that God is always answering our prayers. May not be the way we want it, may not be the time when we want it, but definitely God always answers our prayers. Ito pa, sabi niya, I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. Yan, yung binaks ko na yan, is reminiscent of the start of their nation. In the, this is a covenant language. I will protect you. I will give you as a covenant to the people. Ano sinasabi ni Lord? It was remind, they were, God is reminding the people of Israel of the, His purpose when He called his, their forefathers Abraham. It's an Abrahamic language. Meaning, ano sinabi sa kay Abraham? Genesis chapter 12. Go to the land I will show you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing. Those who bless you will be cursed. Those who curse you will be cursed. Yun yung uh, rendition ni Isaiah of such covenant. That I will keep you, I will bless you, I will give you a, a covenant to people. Kayo, you will be a covenant to the people. You will be a sign for the people. Because how I deal with you, how I care for you, how I show my love for you, how I have shown my faithfulness to you, poor people of Israel, is, the, is a sign of the covenant that I will give to the people as well. And so, magiging papakita ng Panginoon or nina-remind ng Panginoon yung purpose niya to the Israel. 
to the land, you know, you will be established in the land. In the time when Abraham went into the Canaan, it's, it's really a desolate place. But they thrive nonetheless. And at some point, they were, they were, there was a famine that they went back to Egypt where they were captivated, uh, became uh, enslaved in Egypt. But when they called upon God, God rescued them out of Egypt. And not only that, brought them to the promised land, back to the promised land, to a desolate place. They conquered the land. And they, they, part, they partitioned. They, they settled there. They built their temples. That's where the time where the kings, their kings were, you know, were installed. They asked for king and God answered their prayers until the time that they were exiled because of their idolatry. It's a history lesson. It is God reminding the, the, His people that He is a covenant-keeping God, that the Lord never forget His promises. And so they were all reminded. Kaya ako, pasensya na, nagmamadali ako kasi medyo makabata. Tapos, yan, may second part of the preaching, no? Ito sa sabi, ito pa, ito pa yung pa, uh, promise ng Panginoon. Dinidescribe na, ito yung gagawin ko. Okay, as, because how many of you believe that judgment is not the last word ni Lord? Judgment, hindi judgment yung final word ni God. That He is a God who gives hope even through judgment. Dinidescribe na ngayon the kind of restoration and hope that the people will see. Verse 9 says, saying to the prisoners, come out. Kakatakot, no? Parang, may imagine mo ba? Kaya hindi natin pwede basta inter- interpret from our lens today. Parang pag, pag lumabas yung mga nasa bilibid ngayon, parang hindi yata freedom yun, pa- pastor ah. Parang nakakatakot yata sa atin yun, no? Ma- ma- mahirapan tayo. But that's what the Lord is saying because they were what? They were, ano sila? They are captives. They were exiled. They were cap- They were. They were. The ano sila prisoners of war. Technically, yung mga Israelites in the land of Babylon. But God said, "I'm gonna judge Babylon." Kung kailan Lord settled na kami, ija judge mo parang okay na yata kami nun. Then ano yun? You're still a prisoner. And Lord, nagi enjoy na kami dito. Oh, nagi enjoy ka nga pero prisoner ka parin. Gusto ng panginoon palayain ka. Pero God, okay na ako dito eh. Eh mara sino sa inyo would, would agree with me? Marami sa atin minsan. Although we seemingly, we live like free, we're actually prisoners. We're prisoners of our own unforgiveness. We're prisoners of our own uh, temptations with our own proclivities. Diba? Sino sa inyo, you would agree, oh, na natas yung kamay nyo, you are prisoner of your own issues of the past. God is saying, come out. Get out of that, get out of that dungeon. There's hope. There's another way. Do not live like it forever. Now, we understand the difficulty of a lot of uh, people who's been in captivity for quite some time. Alam mo, pagka na, sino sa inyo na, huwag niyo taas kami niyo, okay? Oh, I, 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 nag-ano ako, nag-weekend ako sa, sa Procinto Cinco, okay? <laughs> nag-weekend ako sa, <laughs> when I was younger, I got caught with, ano, illegal gambling, okay? Uh, with the, uh, Basta yun, sa karera, yan, nahuli ako. So, I have to stay for, ano, overnight. Two day, two na, ano, parang vacation lang. Three days, two nights. Ganun, okay? Uh, and so, na, ano, three days, two nights. You know, and, th- and thank God, uh, I was, ano, transformed, no? Hindi naman ako ex-con. Sobra naman, maka parang ex-con. Hindi naman ato, ano yun, ano lang, nahuli lang ng, ano, okay? But, may binayulate lang akong city ordinance or law. Pero hindi naman siguro, ano, no? Parang ano eh, no? Parang sama eh, no? Sama ng dating. But yeah, I stayed a uh, uh, few days and a few days is fine. Pero when you, when you become a prisoner for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, alam mo, a lot of people na na-imprison ng ganon, mas gusto na lang nilang, mas pinalaya mo sila, mas gusto na lang, na lang bumalik sa kulungan. Alam mo kung bakit? Yung nakasanayan na nila, hindi na rin alam anong gagawin nila paglabas wala na silang idea paano mabuhay like a free man, a free man. That's, they, they would rather come back. And I think that's how may, a lot of us responds as well. Sometimes you don't know already, eh, nakita mo yung kagalit mo, parang, hmm, hmm, it's better like this. Huh? Huwag nalang mag-usap. Yeah, nahahirapan. Okay na. Okay na yun. Nakita mo, eto na, December na, di ba? Magde-December. Merry Christmas pala. Yeah, no? Christmas tree na tayo, di ba? Yung iba sa inyo, parang happy Halloween pa. Huwag tayo mag-Halloween, no? Tayo na ganyan mag-Halloween. Christian tayo. Okay, Merry Christmas na lang. 
Merry Christmas na. Ayaw mo na naman mag-reunion. Ako, ayaw ko mag-reunion. Okay na nga yung COVID eh. Wala na lang family. Online reunion na lang. Pwede mag-off cam. Kasi nahihirapan tayo mag-relate, di ba? Even with the people that, you know, we have relational issues. Don't be imprisoned by your past. Come out. Yan yung pang- pang- yun yung kuma- pa- uh, in- pa- commandment ng Panginoon to the people. Thus says the Lord, come out. Those who are in prison, those who are in darkness, appear. Hindi, hindi yun yung appear na yun, okay? Those in darkness, what? Appear. But pinapa-appear ni Lord? Di makita. No, hindi, hindi, joke lang. Darkness, punta ka, labas. Bakit? Bakit pinapala? Ito speaks of what? The prisoners, speaks of liberation, freedom, emancipation. Darkness speaks of what? Illumination, so that you will begin to see. A lot of times, the reason why we choose to be in prisons, in our own prison cells, figuratively speaking, is because hindi natin makita. We're in darkness, hindi natin makita. How, paano ba mabuhay nang wala siya? Yun, ako naman, no? Sobrang sanay na sanay ka nang nandiyan siya kahit sinasaktan ka. Hindi ko naapaalam paano mabuhay nang wala siya. Yun, kaya yan. Okay? Iba yata yung ano ko ha. Pag-ibig yata yung naisip ko. They shall feed along the ways and all barren heights shall be their pastures. Ano sinasabi niya dyan? That even though, mahirap mag-pasture sa, ba- sa, sa heights. Usually, pag gusto mo mag-pasture sa ground. Pero yung sinasabi niya, anywhere. Because there's so much, there's safety, there's abundance of provisions. Anywhere, you will find your settlement and you will find your satisfaction. Ito pa, verse 10. Sabi niya, they shall not hunger. Wow, sino sa inyo excited kayong makita yan? Bakit hindi totoo yan sa akin, pastor? Bakit ako laging gutom? No? They shall not hunger, hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them and springs of water will guide them. The Lord will not just lead you, direct you to a place, but He will do that in such a way that He will uh, nourish you as well. And there's 10 TLC. Alam niyo TLC? Hindi tomato, lettuce, cheese. Okay? TLC. Tender love and care. Kaya ba hindi mag- magugutom, Pastor? Kasi lagi may pa-burger, no? Hunger. TLC. In the TLC, tender love and care. When God does His work, when He leads us, there's what? TLC. Tender love and Yan. Ano pa? Sinabi ng panahon. Verse 11. I will make them mountains a road and highways shall be raised up. O sige, wala tayong time masyado explain yan. Pero ito, Behold, shall these, all these or these shall come from afar. From Behold, from this, the north, from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. In the, its original rendition. These, ano ba yan? Paano ba sabihin yan? See, in the sinim, in, in original rendi- rendition. In fact, ito. Yan, yung, yung places na yan. All these shall come from afar. Be- ano yung sinasabi niya? Because they will be a covenant to the people. Right? Meaning, you will be a covenant to the people. You, the Israelites, you as a people, as a nation, will be a covenant to the people. The, a time will come, and alam natin, ito yung nangyari. Fast forward a, a, a bit on our time. Jesus came, and we all come to the saving knowledge of, the, of God. We are part of the people who were coming from afar, from no unknown lands, from the north to the west to the in the, the land of Sinim. Ano yung sinasabi niyan? Ano yung Sinim? Ito yung pagka uh, hindi nag-reply sa'yo, pero nakita yung message mo, Sinim zone ka, okay? Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Saan yung land of Sinim na yan? And interestingly, siya lang yung ni-name. Napansin mo ba? Yung iba from the land, uh, you know, from afar, from the north, direction lang. Pero itong land of Sinim, very significant. Ninim. Napansin nyo ba na detail yun? Yun, kaya pag nagsasalita si Lord, hindi pwedeng ano, parang nag, we just, okay, yeah, great. Yeah, nice. Binabasa lang natin. Minsan, pahinto ka rin. Tapos pag-iisipin mo, oo oh, nga, no? Sa inyo, napan, napansin nyo yan. Nung, binab- Nung nabasa nyo na to, I'm sure. Sino sa inyo, nagbabasa kayo ng Bible? Wala din. Okay, kamot. Okay. Sisay, nabasa nyo na itong Isaiah 49 many times. Oo oh, nga, no? 
Kahit ako na binabasa ko, oo nga, no? Ang tagal ko na nakatingin, oo nga, no? Bakit nga ba siya lang yung niname? Now, uh, the land of Sinim, some says it is somewhere in Egypt. There, in fact, there were archaeological finds uh, in somewhere in Egypt that there uh, says that that is a place where Jewish settlements uh, are actually found. Okay? Now, significant yung archaeological finds about it, pero wala tayong time describe. Some says... It's somewhere down, somewhere out there. Okay? Hindi alam eh. Walang, walang may alam kung saan ba talaga. Some says, pwedeng sa Egypt. Other says, because of a statement or because of a verse in Genesis chapter 10, verse somewhere, okay, verse uh, 7, I think, or 17, somewhere in, in we see the, the Sinites. Okay? The Sinites. Sino yung Sinites? Sila yun, the people in that land. The Sinites. Ano yung Sinites? Sinners? Hindi, hindi. Hindi sila Sinners. Sinites. Itong mga tao na to, lagi daw itong may sakit. Uh, laging may, may ano, low-grade fever na no? may Sinites. Ito, the Sinites, they are, um, they are descendants of Ham, Canaan, Sino sila? Okay? Nung we wipe out ni Lord, the time of Noah, okay, sino yung naiwan? Okay? Yan. Okay, yun yun. Then there were three sons, si Dapet, di ba? Si Shem at saka si Ham. Si Ham, nagkaroon siya anak. Later on, si Canaan. Cana, or the, the, the where the Canaanites Cana, came from and one of the descendants was actually Sinites. Okay? Ito yon. One perspective of that is this. Yung niname dyan, the land of Sinim, is that God is referring to these people because you have to remember ano nangyari kay Laham. What will happen to Laha, kay Laham? Yung anak ni Noah, they were cursed. They were cut off from the land. The Sinites. Yun yung nangyari sa kanila. Dito on. Okay? I don't have time to to explain. Pero yun yung isa sa mga history niyan. Remember si Noah, pagkalabas ng ark, syempre nakakita na ulit ng mga first time after 40 days, 40 nights, di ba? Nasa sa, sa ark, nakakita na ulit ng mga halaman, na, na, makakita ng vineyard. And so napakain. Alam niyo na yung story. Tapos nalasing si Noah, di ba? And then three, three sons, or in the two, saw the nakedness of their father and they were judged. They were cut off. The judgment was pronounced in the sons of Ham. So ito yung isang perspective. Some scholars would say that when this was spoken of, that even though seemingly those that are cut off and those who were judged, the Lord will bring them back. Na kay God, kahit na may judgment, hindi yun yung final say. That God is also in the business of restoring not just the people of Israel, but they are a covenant to a people that although God is saving them, they will be a covenant to the people because through them, the, the Savior will come so that even those seemingly that are cut off, that are, that are far away, can be what? Brought back to the fold. Yun yung isang perspective. And since yung mga scholars, like I always say here, yung mga scholarly things, iwan na natin sa mga scholars, di ba? Kasi wala naman scholar sa atin, unless scholar kayo, di ba? Palit tayo. <laughs> yung mga scholar things, iwan na natin sa mga scholars. Pero yun yung isang perspective. Another perspective is that this, that although the scholars may, may, dis, may disagreement, wala talaga consensus kung saan talaga tong land na to. Some says here, some says there. But the fact that God named them, that those from the land of Sinim, hindi lang yan yung land itself, but the people. Parang sinasabi niya, that even though people, we do not know where that is, God knows. Okay? Na kahit sang, ano pa yan, tribu ng tralala, God knows them and God will call them. That even though you are a remote, undiscovered people group in the Amazon, God will bring them and save, will save them. Ganun katindi 
yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Nung sinabi niyang, you will be a covenant to the people, that even though, though those that are seemingly undiscovered far, far reach, within our reach, uh, beyond our reach, and even though seemingly people do not know, God hears them. Kung may mga uh, tribes pa tayo na mga aitas somewhere that hindi pa rin nakakakilala sa Panginoon, guess what? The Lord will call them back to Him. Yun pala yun. Na, the, the, the restoration, the time of favor, and the day of salvation is not just for Israel, but for us as well. That's why here, it's the response. The response for that covenant keeping faithful God is simply what? To praise and to worship Him. That's why we sing and pra- our praises to God, even today. Pero tingnan mo, in verse 13, ito yung nangyari. Sing oh, oh, for joy, O, oh, sino? Sino yung kinukuman ni Lord? Heavens na naman, parang when He summoned the stars and the heavenly hosts, they align. Dito, kinukuman na naman ni Lord, sing for joy. Wag tayo dito. Sing for joy. Tagal naman. 20 minutes. Oh, di ba? Isa ka dito. Kanta na lang. Tino mo. God has to command even the heavens and the earth to praise and to sing uh, joyfully before God. Because just like before, when God summons the heavens, the heavens, buti pa daw yung heaven, heavenly beings or heavenly dwellings. Sumusunod. Buti pa yung stars and the planets, they align when God summons and when God calls. Tayo, talaga daw yung pinakamakukulit. Sing for joy. Nakasimangot pagdating dito. Ano ka, praise ako? Sing ka kayo praises to God, di ba? This is why sing your praise. Tagal. Mas kwatro na, no? Hindi, hindi naman kayo ganun. Baka ako lang. <laughs> Apparently, pag tayo pinapakakanta ng Panginoon, because do you know that our faith, we are a singing faith? Christianity is a singing, singing faith. Because our God is a God who commands worship, singing. Fortunately, here, it is the heavens that are being asked. For the Lord has comforted His people and He will have compassion on His afflicted. Hindi kasi, Pastor, pagka may, afflict, may affliction, ganyan talaga, mahirap talaga mag-worship. Hindi all the more we worship God when we are in pain, when we are in affliction. All the more we should sing songs to God. Pastor, para namang toxic positivity naman yan. Ay, mga young people ngayon, ganyan eh. Sa inyo, young people, okay, ako lang, okay, ba sa inyo man? Ay, yung, may yung to- toxic positivity. May affliction na nga eh. God is already speaking, that says the Lord. God is already speaking restoration, but I see desolation. I see, you say, you speak, I hear restoration, but I see ruins. I see, I see, I, I hear uh, help, I hear comfort, I hear hope, but I feel despair. How can I sing songs to God? Yan minsan yung nangyayari sa puso natin. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to feel that way. Eh, kung talaga namang sino sa inyo, talagang nalulungkot these days. Ayun, diba? 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 Kahit ka man, pagkatapos mo dito, eh, nag-praise and worship ka, nakareceive ka ng salita ng Diyos, pag uwi mo ng bahay, makikita mo pa rin yung earn nung mahal mo sa buhay. Casualty natin sa COVID, malulungkot ka pa rin, di ba? Pag uwi mo, check mo nung envelope mo sa bahay, wala nang laman, di ba? Nalulungkot naman talaga tayo. Part yun, that's fine. It's okay to feel that way. What is not okay, ito ah, what is not okay is how we respond to God in the midst of those moments. Kasi pansin mo in verse 14, or oh, watch, this is how they responded. God already spoke of a restoration. God already spoke and described in detail anong gagawin niya. But look how the people responded in verse 14. But Zion said, sino yung Zion. Sino Zion? Ayun, yung asawa ko, si Zion. Okay? Sino <laughs> Zion? Pag sinayang Zion, it's the people of Israel who are living in the land. Ito yung sabi nila. 
But Zion said, The Lord has, what? Forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten. Sa Tagalog, ito ibig sabihin yan. Eh Lord, tinalikuran mo nga kami, tas kinalimutan mo pa kami. Kaya nga kami nandito sa Babylon because tinalikuran mo kami at kinalimutan mo kami. Lord, kinalimutan mo yung pagmamahal mo sa amin, yung promise mo sa amin. Tinanggal mo pa kami sa isipan mo. That's what they feel that time. Now, sino sa inyo, there are times na yan yung being respond natin, response natin kay Lord. Lord, bait-bait ko naman eh. Minitiis ko nga to si pastor pag Sunday, nagpipreach eh, di ba? Nakakailan na kahit nga may pandemic, di ako nag-absent sa church. Pero bakit ganun? Kinalimutan mo yata talaga ako. Many of you, at some point, you pray that prayer. You, 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 you bear your heart out. Yung na, 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 na labas mo yung talagang tampo mo. Tampururut natin kay Lord. Yung sama minsan ng loob natin. Yung hinagpis natin. In our pain. to listen here. Sometimes in our pain, we accuse God in our pain. Sometimes in our despair, we accuse God. Lord, tinalikuran mo naman kami. Lord, kinalimutan mo naman kami. Lord, ito yung dami kong ginagawa para sa Lord. Yung linggo-linggo ko nagsaserve. Linggo-linggo ko tumutugtog dito. Lord, bakit? Kinalimutan. Lord, daming, ano, daming reclamation. Alam mo reclamation? Reclamation. Mayroon reklamo. <laughs> Lord, bakit ganun? Lord, bibigay naman ako sa work mo. Ah. Bakit parang, bakit ako, Lord, ba't di nila yung kapitbahay ko? <laughs> Kaya niya, pray that prayer at times. Ako lang, babait nyo. Kayo kaya minsan mag-preach dito, no? How many people now believe that we're not far from these people? If they feel that way, they responded that way. Sometimes, even us, we feel that way and we respond to God that way. Feeling natin kinalimutan tayo ng Panginoon. But look what God, how God answered them. At this point, because ang tawag dito, disputation. Alam mo yung disputation? Nagdi-dispute sila. May sinabi yung Panginoon, tapos dinidispute ng Israel. And God answered them this way. Look, grabe yung sagot ni God. God gave them a picture. Do you know that the Hebrew language is not just rich in its literary form? Poetry na nga ito eh. So, ibig sabihin, Matindi na, yung, matindi na yung literary form and intensity. Tapos, God also gave us a picture because a Hebrew language is an, very, uh, an image-rich language. Ngayon kasi, pag may gusto tayong aralin, YouTube na lang natin, panoorin na lang natin. Diba? Ganyan tayo. Ay na natin magbasa ng manual, panood din na lang natin YouTube. No? Mabilis, ganyan yung, ganyan yung generation natin ngayon. In their time, walang ganun. So when God wants us to convey Um, powerful message. He will use poetry. He will use metaphors. Not just to speak into the mind, but to speak into our hearts. Sino sa inyo minsan, pag masakit, may masakit sa'yo, may masakit sa'yo, and it's not enough that naiintindihan mo. Na naiintindihan mo lang. Na yung, yung sagot sa'yo, alamawa, ganito, may masakit sa'yo, sakit, parang mayroon akong nararamdaman, di ba? Masama yung kalooban ko. Bakit? Masama yung kalooban, parang LBM yata yun, ano? Basta may masama yung kalooban, may masakit sa'yo. Kahit naman i-explain sa'yo kung ano yung nangyayari sa'yo, ano mo, ito may cancer ka, tas ganito, 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 mamatay ka na, ganyan, ganyan. Naintindihan mo, makomfort ka ba? Hindi rin, di ba? That's not what you, in fact, sino sa inyo, naka-encounter kayo ng ganun doktor? Ay, nako, ito, mga two weeks na lang buhay mo. Unahin kaya kita dyan, dok, di ba? Minsan gusto... Uh, sino sa'yo, nakaka-encounter kayo? Kaya ako lang po, kasi si God, hindi ganyan si God. Si God, when He speaks, naiintindihan niya, He listens, naiintindihan niya yung cry of our heart. And when God answered His people, look how He answered. Can a woman forget her nursing child that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? It's a rhetorical question. Pag sinayang rhetorical question, hindi kailangan ng sagot. Sino mga nanay dito? Taas kamay. Mga nanay, okay? Mga nanay, mga nanay, okay? Sino mga makananay lang? Hindi, joke lang, okay? Mga nanay, nako, grabe. Ito ah, yung mga, mga men na hindi masyado makarelate, nako. 
tanongin nyo yung nanay nyo. Okay? Or talk to someone, talk to a mother. This is something that is close to impossible. Meron bang nanay na makakalimot sa kanyang anak? At hindi lang basta anak, ah, nursing child. Okay? Hindi. Bakit? Because even yung physiology will react. Kahit yan, neglectful na na, sabihin na natin, pero wala naman, di ba? Wala naman talagang nanay. Sino bang nanay ang mag, in their right mind, a nanay that will forget their child, a nursing child. Wala, di ba? Pero sige, sabihin na natin, nakalimutan niya. Alam mo, yung biology, yung physiology niya will remind her that meron pala akong baby na kailangang i-feed. Kasi may engorge masakit. I remember one time, um, it was it was a uh, Christmas Christmas time, right? It was Christmas. Uh, we're we're busy because of uh, Christmas events in church and uh, Christmas Eve service. And so my wife was uh, just uh, gave birth to. We have a newborn, yung second do, yung second child namin, daughter ko si Lucy. And so afternoon, busy day for us. We are in the church ministering to the people. Uh, 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 our daughter did not uh, feed as much kasi I guess parang distracted, there's so many things going on. And so si Zai, na ano, yun, engorge, basta because of the milk, hindi masyadong na, na drain, no? We have to go to, anong tawag natin na? Yun, basta yun, basta yun, yung lactation consultant, yun. The lactation consultant at the middle of the night, so Christmas na to, grabe, para lang to help her out is the pain. Sa, eto ha, hindi ako yung nanay, pero pati ako, tarantang-taranta. Sa sobrang taranta ko, nalak ko yung mga anak ko sa loob ng kotse. Nasa loob yung susi. Yun. Problema ang problema. See? Hindi ako nanay ha, pero grabe, yung, yung stress that it brought, naka matinde. So, nung sinasabi yan, ni Isaiah, ni Lord of course, so Isaiah, can a woman forget her nursing child? impossible. Pero ano sinasabi ng Panginoon? Even what? Even this. Sige na, sabihin na natin. Even this may forget. Yet, I will not forget you. You think I have kinalikuran kita at kinalimutan kita? No. Just like a mother who will not forget their nursing child. I will not forget you. Even sabihin, sabihin na natin, nakakalimot sila. I will not be like that. Ibig sabihin ganito, kung tingin mo, ito yung pagmamahal ng isang nanay sa kanyang anak. Sino sa inyo would agree with me? Da, ang nanay, grabe. Iba magmahal sa kanilang mga anak. In fact, um, there are sometimes, there, you know, there are faces that only a mother could love. De joke lang, okay? Di ba may mga taong, hmm, cute mo talaga. Sino sa inyo, you would agree with me that eh, lahat ng bata cute sa paningin ng nanay. Di ba? Talaga naman. Ganun ka tindi magmahal. Pero si God, sabi niya, yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon, surpasses that. That even though we think it is already horrible picture for us, a despicable thing for a nursing mother to forget her nursing child, sabi ni God, I will not forget. Tingin mo, nakalimutan ko na, hindi kita nakalimutan. I in fact name even the, la- the land of sin. If feeling mo, ginajudge ka ng Panginoon, di ka nakakalimutan ng Panginoon. Ganun yung tindi ng pagmamahal niya. Kaya nung ini-explain to ni Isaiah, grabe, the emotion, the picture was so powerful that many of us today, we just pass by, oh, that's so nice, or it's just comforting, ando doon lang, emotion level lang. Pero man, pag-isipan mo maigi, gaano tayo, gaano minahal ng Panginoon yung Israel? Ganun. Because they are a covenant of ganun katindi ng pagmamahal ng Diyos para sa ating lahat. And even though that they will forget, I will not forget you. Sakit makalimutan, di ba? Yung, yung umuwi ka nga lang, nakalimutan kang pagtabihan ng pagkain, di ba? Parang na, sakit na eh, no? Pero sabi ng Panginoon, hindi, hindi kita makakalimutan. Hindi, hindi kanya pababayaan. Hindi kita malilimu. Parang parang pataya tayong kanta na yun. Okay. Huwag na lang. Verse 16, sabi niya, Behold. Now, ito, many of us will agree now and can relate. Behold, I have engraved you in the palm of 
my hands. Uy, meron ng clue. Bakit? You see, nakita mo, New Testament people, immediately, we will read in that, in light of what Christ has done. Pero ano kayong ibig sabihin sa kanila nung sinabi yan? I will engrave, I engrave you in the palm of my hands. The hand is what? The most useful, I believe, ha? alam ko naman lahat yung body parts natin importante. Lahat naman sila may function. Pero sino ba yung laging nasa harapan natin, Lagi natin nakikita? It's the hand, di ba? Medyo mahirap kung ano, I have engraved you on my batok. Paano, paano mo ba yun? Medyo mahirap makita yun, di ba? Kung sa in-engrave ko sa batok ni Lord, no? Ang sabi niya, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. Ibig sabihin, I will not forget I always remember, I always think about, in everything that I do, you are in my mind. And so many, many times, ito, oh, is in here. Many times, niisip natin, God, nakalimutan mo na ba ako? Parang natapos na to, grabe na tong pandemic, talagang hirap na hirap kami, hirap na hirap yung sitwasyon namin. Nakakalimot ka ba? Hindi, hindi ka nakalimutan ni Lord. In fact, all that God is doing, you, we are in His mind. Is thinking about us. Just like in the time of Israel, everything that God is doing, they do not understand. They could not understand. They could not see what God will do in the future. That the salvation that is for them is not just in fact for them, but also for the rest of humanity. That's why God is telling that salvation. When I will de- whenever I deal with you, I think about you. That in my judgment, I think about your future. Kaya na sinabi niya, your walls are continually before me. Sinasabi ni God dyan, anong walls? Eh, in ruins nga yung wall namin. When you read Nehemiah, when you, that, that whole book, is pa, medyo after ng Isaiah yon In terms of chronology, that entire book is dedicated to that, the rebuilding of the wall. Their walls are in ruins. And that's why sometimes when God speaks of certain things, we feel like hindi siya nangyayari. I hear hope, but I feel despair. I hear word of restoration, but I see ruins. How can this be? And that's why very important for us to understand, going back to this, can a woman forget the nursing child? When, when do a, a child, when would the child be comforted? Diba pag umiyak yung bata, iyak na, ah, nagngangawa. Kailan niya masusuth? Kailan niya makakomfort? Kailan siya comfort After the child feeds and is near the arms of the mother. The only time that child, that crying child will be comforted is when that, nurse, that child feels the nearness of the mother. When they feel the comfort of their mother, when they begin to feed and are nourished by their mother. So we he, see, hear hope. We hear hope today, right? What do we do while we see ruins? I hear hope. I feel hopeless. What am I supposed to do? Just go on and feed the Word of God. Balik ka lang palagi. That's why even in Peter, alam mo sabi si Peter, later on, I'll end this. Sabi ni Peter, craves pure spiritual milk, which is the Word of God, so that you may grow in it now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. That's why we need to always what? Go back to this Word. Let this Word not depart from our hearts. Be nourished by His Word so that we will not just be what? We will not just give in to what we feel, but we will actually hold on to His Word not just be led by what we feel, but to be led by God Himself. Amen? Let's all stand. We're going to pray. Lord, thank You. Thank You for Your promises. Thank You for Your goodness. And even for us today, Lord, stand here before You. Some of us are in despair. Some of us are in, in pain. Some of us probably feel the same way forsaken and forgotten. Here we are, Lord. Here we are, God. Thank you for reminding us that you are a God who remembers 
and a God who will never forget. That while you are accomplishing things, Lord, in our lives, you are also setting us up, Lord, for greater things. That our restoration is meant for other people as well. To be a display of your kindness, of your goodness, and your power. So help us, God, see what you are doing in our lives, in our individual lives. Marami sa amin, Panginoon, hanggang ngayon ay feeling namin na abandon mo kami, na nakalimutan mo kami. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for reminding us that you have indeed engraved us in the palm of your hands. That when Christ Jesus came and indeed was crucified, our names are not just written and not just engraved in your palm, but our names are actually written in the book of life. In that book of life, Lord God, our names will never be blotted out. And so God, in the meantime that we are waiting for your restoration and your deliverance, help us to feed on your word. Help us to be a source of comfort, courage, and strength for others as well. Help us, God, like newborn babies, to crave for spiritual milk, which is your word, so that by it we may grow now that we have tasted that the Lord is good. And in the same way, God, you will use us as your people to send out bring comfort, encouragement to other people as well. So God, help us continue their walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray.